We are now joined by U.S. Army Afghan war veteran Fazil Haq Hakmal in Washington, D.C. Fazil Haq, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Not too long ago, President Joe Biden was asked whether or not a Taliban takeover is inevitable. His response was absolutely not. How did the U.S. How did the U.S. get Afghanistan so wrong? Well, well look, I, uh, I think the uh, it's it's not just the U.S. that got the uh, that uh, got what was gonna what was waiting the Afghan people wrong. I, I think it was the the international community uh, writ large did not understand did, did not have a better appreciation of what the what was waiting on Afghanistan. I think I think to, 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 to begin with, you know, the Afghan government was not included in the peace negotiation in Doha. And that gave that 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 level of transformation and that level of leverage that was provided to the to the Taliban. You know, that that actually gave the Taliban a a, a strong level of legitimacy uh, because the government was absolutely excluded from 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 the talks. Although many experts out there were, were calling on both administrations to, to ensure that the Afghan government was fully included. And at the president, you know, President Ghani, he, he was very, very much clear about, you know, what, what he did not want to happen, a political vacuum, a political vacuum, a leadership vacuum. And as of, you know, I've been following him very closely. I've, I've been following the situation in Afghanistan very closely on, on several, on numerous occasions, President was right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna resign. I'm gonna leave the government. But who will replace me? That is what the, I need an answer for the Afghan people because I'm a democratically elected leader. Who will replace me? I saying from the Afghan side, from the Afghan leadership side, from the Afghan people side, they knew what was waiting on them. They did not trust the, the Doha deal. They did not think that was that was gonna provide them the. That was going to provide them the level of stability to maintain and sustain 20 years of democratic gains. So, Fazalak, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What you are saying is this was expected to happen. This was long coming. Uh, there was a power vacuum in Afghanistan. Absolutely correct. Most Afghans were were afraid of this day. They they knew that if the the way the negotiations were pursued. That would at some point end up excluding the Afghan government. You know, that would at some point start weakening government to its knees. This is not the first time that has happened. You know, President Dr. Najib in 1991 and 1992 was forced to run to the uh, to take asylum in the uh, UN. You know, why United Nations office? Because you know the the the, the UN. Uh, peace deal that was under work back then did not work and it led into somewhat a similar outcome. I think let's, let's you know, what's really important now is focus on what is going to happen next. You have, you have people, you have armed militias that have, you know, entered Kabul city. People are scared for their lives. You have a, a severe level of humanitarian. Yes, Fazil, like uh, I was coming to that. I was coming to that. What happens Next, I think it would, be, it would be fair to say that the international community has failed the people of Afghanistan. But do you think uh, there's still any way uh, for the international community to make everything right or not? Well, and, uh, first, I'm, I'm, most Afghans, the entire country, we've been, we've been, we haven't had any sleep over the past month or so as we've been closely monitoring the, the development and situation in Afghanistan. I, I do not think that the international community at this at this point at this stage have the, the leverage they, they had when we had a functioning government in Afghanistan. We had a a fully capable operational military in Afghanistan. That, 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 that what I what I mean by that is the Afghan National Security Forces. Now we don't have a standing military. We do not have a functioning government in Afghanistan. There is no leverage. You know now we could look at this from winner takes all. Taliban are looking at it as as the winners and the, uh, as the conquerors, and they're gonna take, they're gonna do, they're gonna demand the terms and the conditions for what needs to happen going forward. All right, Fazil Haq Hakmal, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Yep, thank you.